All right, YouTube. So, um, yesterday, actually, uh, I came across this post and um, I saw a couple chicks in the comment section going back and forth and I chimed in and uh, we'll get there. We're going to start with this picture. And it's titled, This Single Mother Syndrome Has to Stop. And in quotes, it has, our generation is becoming so busy trying to prove that women can do what, what men can do, that women are losing their uniqueness. Women were created to do everything a man can do. Women were created to do, weren't created to do everything a man can do. Women were created to do, to do everything a man can't do. Now, whether you believe that or not, or creationism, whatever, that's not really the focus. Uh, my focus for this specific thing is with me in the uh, lady got into a back and forth. So her first initial comment was, if men were stepping, if only men were stepping up so that women didn't feel like that they had to do it all, do it all. Did you see that study that says married mothers spend more time doing chores and taking care of their house than single mothers do? The reasoning? Having a husband is like having another helpless child. The problem is not that women were women were and were not created to do. The problem is generations of men who have been taught that their needs supersede those of their spouse and that the spouse is a surrogate mother. OK, now, the thing with this is she has a partial point and then she's partially wrong. The reason she's even wrong is because the common thing that I always say. When you try to downplay somebody or you try to put someone down and send shots out when they're unnecessary, you usually end up making yourself wrong by default. Now, let's look at the first sentence where she says, if only men were stepping up so that women didn't feel like they had to do it all. That right there in itself is a perfectly fine statement to make. Because, yes, there are men who really don't do a damn thing, whether they're working or not. That You can't argue that. Because those people exist, period. So you can, I, I, I'd be wrong if I said those men don't. But the problem comes when she says having a husband is like having another helpless child. Do you realize that that sentence make it seems like is really you're better off being a single mother? And we've seen the stats from single mothers, right? That their children are usually. The children from single mothers, statistically, and this is from several sources, and I'll try to Google one, put it in the, the description if I can remember, but they are those children from those households are far more the most um, problematic people in society. So that statement right there, having a husband is like having another helpless child. That that's where you're wrong. That's where it's a problem because you're sending shots. And it's totally unnecessary. Now, uh, I said I reply, so we're going to get into the these comments between me and her. Uh, so, and I and I really was just trying to give an alternate uh, viewpoint of why that could be the case. Okay, so I told her they spend more time doing chores because they're at home more, right? And she said, "Where is she?" Who said mothers weren't also working in this study? I said they're home more. I didn't say they were just home. I said they're home more. Uh, because they were. But go off with your gender stereotypical assumptions, bro. Now listen. Here was my reasoning when I said that. Okay? Women who have a full-time working spouse that usually can take out, can work less hours at work. And they usually do. Usually. Not all the time, but usually. For instance, if a, if a woman has a guy who makes, let's say he makes enough to cover all the bills, save, blah, blah, blah. Is she really going to still be working 50 hours at work? Or is she going to be home more? Which means, and if she's home more, that would then mean that there more of the chores are hers to do. Right? So if you include these women in that study then yes they're going even though they are working they're going to be doing more 
uh, and 30 hours is considered full time. So you can be working full time, but he can be working twice as many hours as you. So you're still, you, even though you're working full time, you'd still be doing more of the chores. Though just for that that instance in itself. Now for now, let's think about the other on the other side. Single mothers were doing less chores than women who were married, right? Because think about the, who you're talking about: single mothers. A large portions of them don't have any real need to do chores because usually those women are not really women that take care of the responsibilities. So they do less cleaning around the house. They make sure things are kept up a lot less than women who have husbands. They That's just facts. And again, this is generally speaking. So if you're a single mom and this doesn't fit you, then it just doesn't fucking fit you. It's, it's not saying... A hundred percent. But generally, that's the case. That also plays a part in it as well. OK, nobody's trying to say uh, single moms uh, or, or women who are working uh, just don't do shit or whatever. the hell. She, I don't even know why she took it so wrong, which is my problem. Um, And I made a point again and and she asked me to cite my sources and I she didn't cite hers at that point. But this is what she Re responded with one side when I told her she didn't um, put her sources up. Right, that was a link, but I'm assuming that this was the picture that was in a link. Now let's take a look at this and point out the problem. Right, if you look here, all this table is showing is what fields that they're in, um, that they make up percentage-wise, and then let's look at the bullet points. Seventy percent of mothers with children under eighteen participating in the labor force with over 75 percent employed full-time mothers are the primary or sole earners for 40 percent of households with children under 18 today compared with 11 percent in 1960 <clears throat> now remember i said she has a case with that initial statement and this that would in the way back her up but it wouldn't just 100% clarify and cut everything clean off. Now, let's try to look at this and dissect and see how it can really fully fit her in different ways, right? When they say 40% others are the primary sole earners for 40% of households with children under 18, that second bullet point, I don't know why she thought that helped her, you know, in, in this case because... If you're the sole earner, you're you're either a single mom or you're the you have a stay at home like dad or something, father. Um, but those are very, 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 very minute. It's a lot more likely that you're just a single mom. So. Um, and I guess to assume that you would actually have your children doing the chores. I don't know, but if you're a single mom and you're the sole earner, you're going to be doing less housework. Just this point blank period, because you don't have the time. And then, to, when the kids get of age again, as I stated, you would have the children doing chores themselves a lot sooner than a stay-at-home mom would, or a mom who has who has a, a partner who allows her to not be the primary breadwinner um women are more likely to have a degree by the age 29 than men okay blah 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 and here's where um it really really started to annoy me with both of them actually because it was just me and the one for the longest but the second girl bianca hunt who originally posted it she stated uh I'm not sure who the guy that you're arguing with is on here, but I don't know why you're arguing with him because he ain't talking about nothing. Some stuff ain't even worth your time. Well, I was actually talking about the fact that there could be alternatives to her. I'm making a clear statement there both times. So to dismiss it as me not saying anything, I I'm at the point where I really just don't even want to 
debate with women anymore. Because I, I, there are some men are starting to do this also, but this happens like 90% of the times when I'm debating with women. No real reason to dismiss something I'm saying or no way to prove it wrong. It's just, uh, oh, you're not talking about nothing. You ain't talking about shit. Whatever. Bye. That's, that's usually how this ends up. But, um, some stuff ain't even worth your time. Who the fuck is is either one of you to say I'm not worth somebody's time? You, you're clearly talking to a chick who's a single mother, so obviously she ain't worth somebody else's time. But we gonna say that about me though. Uh, and I, I said this I basically just we said what I just said to her, and she goes, "What is the argument though?" If you're a homemaker, then of course you probably do more housework of things that of that nature. But most homes can't afford that option. And both husband and wife are working just because the husband works doesn't mean the wife works less. I didn't say that. You know what? I probably did. Let me go back. I probably did. Let me go back. They spend more time doing chores because, okay, yeah, I generalized that. Oops. Oh, where, where did I leave off? I know that doesn't, that wasn't always the case for my house. So I'm not, I'm just not understanding your argument. Okay, but even after that initial one, I did say that it's likely I made that point. But again, the argument was very clear on my end, which is women who have a, a, a husband at home tend to stay home more. And honestly, ladies, again, I've said this before. A lot of you are working simply because you don't want to live a quote unquote basic life. And that right there is a choice. So this we have to work. We don't have options. You have the option. You just don't want to, to be basic because what the fuck ever reason usually other women judging you <sighs> and then she goes with a typical yet again but you were just shown that the study is wrong no you assumed that that study said i was wrong didn't give me opportunity to really really go into that study you just posting like here here's proof it and it doesn't it didn't even it didn't prove shit it just said y'all were in the workforce that that was it. But again, that I guess that meant that by default, you work more than men. But okay. If this was a U.S. study, which it was, then why the fuck did you say if? Then the pool of participants came from the same numbers. Do you understand how statistics work, Christopher Weaver? Um, do you understand how statistics work? Because that they didn't directly correlate to the stats you originally were talking about. But again, then uh, somewhere in the end, she pretty much just uh, wrote me off. So, yeah, I, I think I'm, I th- I'm think I'm done debating women. But the debating me probably won't even let that happen. But um, yeah, that was that. I'm out. <laughs>